hello everyone and welcome back to the channel you know it's wolf and if you're new welcome to the channel you might, might as well subscribe you know um this situation is uh i watched it as soon as it came out i, I said I, I said to myself i was gonna make a video about it because this situation needs more eyes on it to prevent you from falling into the same situation um right now one of the youtubers them that i that i watch on a regular basis they um i literally um check their channel like daily or like if i don't see any uploads on their channel for about a week i'm saying that i think to myself that youtube is up to its its bull it's bullish again youtube is messing around with these people's channels again and obviously you can see how stressed right here you can see how stressed they are on on the on the, on the screen right now this is a video of them telling how they got scammed by someone in the industry like uh, the youtube industry out of a large sum of money most of us will not hold this amount of money in our life like in, in one in one time or yeah you you know you know what I, you know what i mean but it's a very unfortunate situation and um it's unfortunate that that it had to happen to these guys these guys are one of the most wholesome content creators on the internet. Lord Immersion, yeah, we, yeah, we know he creates that that quality men of culture type of content. We're not talking about that. We're not we, we, we're not talking about that right now. We enjoy their content. It just I get used to it being a a regular part of my day to just turn off brain cells and just enjoy content with some people that seems like that seem like regular people. It's in the same age range. Well, exactly, because they were born, well, born in 94. But um, people that I seem like I can relate to without actually knowing who the hell they are. <laughs> they, 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 they seem like upstanding people, you know? And they make good content, even though it's reaction content, even though it's content that it's, um, it's very simple. Just them being there and they have a team to find some really funny ish <laughs> the really funny shit yeah i enjoy it but whenever i don't see them posting i realize that something is up i start searching i wonder what the heck is going on and sometimes we don't find out until they make the dreaded update video or a, or a video addressing the situation right now i can see the 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 the, the motivation being sapped like like look at their faces the mo no motivation is on their face to create content and that is visible stress right i don't have to see any more frames after video because i i, I watched it already i'm just talking about the situation it's unfortunate and sometimes i experience this too but because I'm saying I decided to myself to never give up, like not that, not that, not that cheesy type of stuff, you know. But like, it takes nothing. You can do it in the free time. Content might not come out whenever the the viewers want it, but continue posting content, and one day th something might happen. It's just whenever I see people like is experiencing the same freaking similar stress to what to what um I might experience, it just Let's me feel for them you know it's unfortunate i didn't do any research into the person that um that uh scammed them and that person is a garbage human being from what uh, uh, uh they said in the in the video people warned them about that person that person effed over some people in a certain ways and uh, they were saying that you people saying that uh, uh, that does not add up um this person didn't did that do that to me that, that person doesn't give me any form of indication that they are of a deplorable type of nature or are scummy scammer type of vibe they don't give off anything like that and that's how they get you from what they said in the video um this person was um in charge of like sending them payments for various sponsorships that they have done on the on the channel and uh, one of the reasons why this happened is because like um henry he wasn't doing his uh his due diligence and checking up on his bank statements to see if everything was coming through that's how they were able to get to, to get them because if he was but that that's just an if situation but 
that we don't we don't need to do that. But yeah, if he was, they wouldn't have um, been in this position right now. And um, it's just unfortunate. And I don't want this to be a situation where we don't see them, we don't see them uh, creating content again, because literally, situations like this can demoralize people and um, put them in a in a dark headspace and like they're trying to build something they're trying to become successful because even though you see large subscriber numbers whenever like situations like this hit you see how it rocks certain certain um certain channel what uh, another channel that i watch is ufd tech you see uh, how long that dude has been dealing with um um the the fickle nature of youtube because of um a, a one copyright um um strike on his channel because of nintendo and nintendo is a garbage company they might have made games that we enjoyed but they they in on the all of that woke shit and they on they on they and they they basically hate their fan base so they don't think people own what they paid for you know and uh, i'm all always against that once you spend money for something you should own that thing and uh what well, that's a different that's a different um tangent i'm going off in but yeah because they have a, a, a copyright strike from nintendo stuck on their channel some some someone ever sneezes if youtube decides to even sneeze on their channel <laughs> yeah they 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 can't post for a week they can't we not we're not getting our hot news we're not getting none of that and um it's just it's just unfortunate it's just unfortunate but that when it first happened brett the 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 the, the, the host on the on the channel and the and the, and the boss of ufd media um he decided to diversify his sources of, of income so that youtube when youtube goes down he can provide still continues to provide for his family to provide uh, to, to pay his employees um local and international so that they don't have to worry granted that youtube can e make the situation even more severe but it at least gives them time until the situation is re resolved and they will always make let their uh, their their fan base their following know of the situation so right now it's very unfortunate what happened to to, you, to these guys because i, I don't want to see them go nowhere bro um they can continue to, to to probably stream and probably um uh choose different outlets for their content but i'm telling you it it, it situations like this just feels like you're you're, you're being targeted it feels like you're, you're it doesn't make any sense you put in any effort or you do anything at all because you're uh, some 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 situation might come up some ish might come up and you might end up in a garbage total unfavorable situation where you can't see yourself ever climbing out of and that is the mental state that you might end up in just because of some unfortunate situation but i am um, circling back to the the, the the point when we did when we did um uh, make when i said that people were warning them like people oh, that 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 person f them over you know in certain ways and that he didn't see that or they didn't well he didn't see that because from what he said he he met this person before he met um genie his girlfriend so um that person was there long term and that's how most of the well most of the, the serious scammers work they don't work but they don't they they so like they, they build trust over time through certain various actions and um hope for you to let your guard down and in this situation, they did let, let, let their guard down because of how this person was treating them. Like they were treating them like a genuine, genuine individual. And um, they might be seeking legal counsel as of how they can move forward in seeing if they can possibly get back that, that sum or, or a fraction of that sum. I'm not sure if it's possible because they said it was, they were a LLC, a legal liability a limited liability company or something like that and um because the company went bankrupt they might not get anything back i'm just working from what they said in the video and it's just unfortunate them coming forward with this will help um other um 
novice YouTubers, novice content creators coming up to recognize signs and patterns that might lead to people trying to take advantage of them. Because I'm telling you, it's unfortunate. And um, I love these guys' content. Uh, I don't know them. Uh, I might meet them one day. I'm not sure. Because uh, yeah, if I continue to make content and get big enough, I might I might uh, link up with them, you know, and see see what they see what they about. But I don't know. It's just it's just gonna be unfortunate, and it might and it's gonna be extremely extremely um, a detriment to the platform if they if they they don't continue to make content. And that's just the selfish nature of a, of a of a content enjoyer, you know. But we feel for them, and we we don't want any any bad situations like this to keep happening. Because even aside from the, the scamming situation, the, the, the getting scam situation, YouTube seems to have a bone to pick with these two, and they don't even make content that YouTube should be make getting making a fuss about. And another part of the situation was that the, the channel this channel got demonetized that that they that they're on the mxr plays uh all because the um genie tried to apply for a for a, a a silver play button for her youtube channel because she she made over a hundred thousand subscribers on her own channel um fantastic b and um just because of that youtube um um found like like videos that she has on this channel like they upload videos just to check for copyright on multiple channels to see if copyright might 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 be detected on this channel or might not be detected on this channel and what they might need to change and stuff like that and um when youtube that uh, um reviewed their her channel they found out that content was on both the both the channels although they're not both listed at the same time that one is unlisted but this channel and one is public on this channel or probably set to private on this channel or, are probably public on this one youtube demonetized both channels and uh, they were panicking um I, I could only i can only imagine the stress they were under knowing um not knowing which way to turn not having any contact to youtube because youtube do not speak with their creators unless you're in the 0.1 percentile or 0. 0.00001 percentile um of, of creators you have to be big big you have to be one of those big youtube lapdog type of type of creators one of those creators that youtube youtube loves so much you're so advertiser friendly you're so brand friendly that and you bring in uh, are you bringing a ton of views and ton of, and generate a ton of money for the platform for youtube to contact you directly or you still have direct contact with youtube so they couldn't even query, query the situation they have to go through the whatever interface that they have at their disposal and just hope that they get a response they're probably ner nerve-wracking stressing over a few days because of a situation like that. um i could speak more about it but yeah it just seems unfair on the youtube side with the situation and genie says she's not gonna apply for another play button yeah because she's she said she don't want to chance it and uh I, I think they probably um, uh, they probably removed the, the duplicate videos on on the channel. They probably thought that it was okay if the videos were unlisted, but in in my case, I have two YouTube channels and um, I do the I, I do the same thing and I try I try to get more reach by putting videos on on both channels sometimes. But this situation, I'm gonna start I'm a, I'm gonna delete um, a few videos, you know delete it completely off the platform i just have to find out where they are and and match them up you know so i'll see you in the next one i don't know what type of reaction it might be or whatever it might be i'm not sure when original content is coming to the channel so i'm just letting you guys that know that i want to make original content but i'm gonna build the audience on reaction content until i see i see that it's viable and i'm not gonna react to as as much copyrighted material i.e. music slash music videos um, as much. I'm going to react to other YouTubers' content until I can make my own, you know? Oh yeah, guys, that was a serious, serious topic. And uh, I hope you guys get, get informed. If you're, if you're uh, an uh, aspiring content creator, I hope this video helps you. You can go and watch their original video. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, so yeah, I can subscribe to the channel, share the video is wolf
and I'll see you in the next yeah.